Eve blames the snake. The devil. She doesn't take accountability. But Adam takes it a little bit too far. Adam blames Eve, the snake, and he blames God. He says, this woman that you gave me. It wasn't like Adam didn't go to God and was like, everybody else has a partner, but I don't. And God's like, oh, here, here's a woman. And then Adam's like, the woman that you gave me. So he blames it on God, knowing damn well that he's the one who took the bite of the apple. And I think that's what this story is all about. Someone is putting blame where blame is not due. Someone is not listening to God. They are asking for a blessing. And when they get that blessing, they treat it like shit. And they don't take care of it. And when they get it in, they just go do whatever the fuck they want to do. And you cannot do that. And then to turn around and put the blame on God, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is someone who has to learn their self-worth. They also have to learn accountability. So maybe everyone's just all across the board. This is like... You get a lesson, you get a lesson, you get a lesson, you get a lesson. Everyone here gets a fucking lesson. Because one, the female needs to learn to take accountability for herself. Yes, I fucked up. I mean, you look at me and my story. Yeah, I know that I was in a fucking toxic energy whenever I met my twin a long time ago. Yeah, me myself now were they in a toxic energy yes but that's what partners are for they hold each other accountable the the feminine is supposed to be the help meet for the masculine to help the masculine see where they can grow but the masculine is also supposed to be the head and the the leader the mind the one who helps guide the feminine. They both have to work together. So, yeah. I was in a toxic energy. And that was me. That was my fault. That's what I'm sorry for. Is that when my masculine came in, I was not ready. Because I was still in the energy of the toxicity. Do I hate it? Fuck yeah, I do. Like... It's one of my biggest regrets in the whole world is hurting my twin and having my twin run. Have I been accountable? Yeah, because I fucking had to lose my twin more than one time. I had to feel like I was unworthy for my twin more than once. Because I was feeling unworthy to myself that I deserved that kind of love, that I deserved that blessing. I didn't feel like I was worthy. But God says, you're worthy. That's the whole reason that he died. And you have to find your worth. Especially if you're going to be a light worker and going to go out there and help others. You know, others will be able to see your path. See what you've gone through. And you can help others on that path. Have I fucked up? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm that person. I'm that person that you can look at and they can tell you what not to do. That's why I'm a warning reader. It's really why I feel like I'm a warning reader. Other readers are like, yes, everything is going to be great and magical. And I'm like, the end of the world is coming. <laughs> because I know all of the things that could turn wrong. Because I know I've been there and I've felt the pain. I've cried and I don't want to see you guys feel the same way that I have. In fact, if anybody who watches my channel can listen to me and hear my path and know that it's going to be okay and I can help you in any way, that's my whole purpose. That's why I'm here. 
it's not because I'm making a million dollars because I'm not. <laughs> I still have to work a job, multiple jobs, you know, so this is my purpose. I have to be accountable for me. Do I push things too much? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, way too much sometimes. But, it's always done with good intentions. May I push you guys a little bit too much? Yes, yes I will. It's because I believe in you guys. I know you are worthy of more than what you believe for in yourself. Because I see it. Um, and I have a big problem with that with <laughs> the people that I date too. Like, you know, they're not giving to themselves in the places where they should. It's kind of like they're watering the grass in the wrong spots. But, God knows better than I do. And hopefully, masculines here just start listening to God. But usually it's the, when you look at the triangle, it's the feminine that's looking up to God. And the lovers. It's the feminine that's looking at the man. And the devil card. So feminine. You have to be the one to watch. You have to know. What is spiritually right. And what is spiritually wrong. Because a lot of times. You're going to need to know. Because. You can destroy a masculine. If you are not right with God. If your heart is not right with God. If you are not listening to what God says. You go out and you cheat on your masculine. You can destroy that masculine. You are supposed to be the help meet of the masculine. Not the destroyer. Men, that's a reason why it's so important for you to find your true person. Your true person is not going to be the one that's going to allow you to do whatever the fuck you want to do and get away with it. Your, your feminine is going to hold you accountable. It's not supposed to be you hold your feminine and God accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable. The feminine has to hold herself accountable. And together you guys have to hold the connection accountable together. It's you and your person against the problems and the temptations that are coming. It's not, it's not you against your partner and you against God. You can't pray for something and ask for something and then be like, you know, it's kind of like that saying, you know, be careful what you wish for. You may just get it. If you are in the energy that this energy is in of you're not masculine, I'm talking to masculine, if you are in the energy of I'm going to control this situation. I know how to write this story better than God does. You could go off. Get someone pregnant right before your true person comes in. What if the person that you are with is not your true person? But the person, whoever else, wherever they are. The other person in this story. What if you were wrong about who your true person is? What if the person that you tried to change the narrative for and took control in, into your own hands and went after? What if that person is someone who in a couple months is going to change because you didn't realize that um, they're not actually who they say they are? Meanwhile, your true person was bound to come in if you trusted in divine timing. But you didn't. Sorry, guys. 
trying to go outside and chase my dog. I've been having this coyote that's like, she's really territorial. And these coyotes, and there's a few of them, and they live in the woods. And she does not want them anywhere near here. Like, they don't mess with nothing. Well, okay, one time it did try to come after me, and there she was justified. But every other time, you know, they've just left everything alone. But she always just wants to run after them and go after these dogs, even when you holler at her to come back. Like, maybe that's what there's a feminine here is doing. I think that there's a feminine here that is running and going after all of these dogs because they think this is where they're going to find their happiness while their counterpart is at home because this person is trying to control the narrative. Remember, a lot of times our twin flame is not who we expect it to be. It's who we need it to be. It's not the person who is just the easiest. Otherwise, you know, your twin flame, it would be kind of pointless because they wouldn't teach you anything. Because if they were easy and just let you do whatever you wanted, like you would never learn anything from them. You would never learn anything with them. It's difficult for a reason, but Remember, you can still lose your counterpart. Not for good. Not forever. So you can't technically lose what's yours. Like, you'll eventually get it back at the end of the day or the end of this life. But you can lose them for the 3D part of this journey. Um, so you've got to get your shit together. You have to take accountability for yourself. Stop chasing dogs. Stop playing with dogs. my dog down there she's so loud but let go and let God stop running after chasing the dogs and let God call them in to come home God can't call your counterpart in to come home if you're out chasing dogs otherwise they'll get there and there will be no one there Let's see what energy your person's in. Your actual counterpart. Not the dog you're chasing. Male or female. I don't care. doesn't matter. What energy is the true counterpart in? I also want to flip, flip over, but it didn't. I keep getting these hairs. <laughs> They're being drastic. They're being drastic because they have a soulmate in their energy. That they lusted after. <laughs> I don't know if your true counterpart is worried that 
their soulmate is going to find out about you, if you're going to find out about their soulmates, or if they know that <laughs> you are very highly intuitive, or you know someone who is, or you come and listen to our readings on YouTube, and you know what's going on because you're plugged in, and you know that this person was either with someone else or got someone else pregnant or they were with um, someone of the same sex or or you just know that they were off chasing dogs right <laughs> why do I feel so itchy now is someone feeling really 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 itchy I'm gonna go out in the wood and get poison ivy or something. Doesn't have to be. <laughs> I think it's these hairs. It'll be drastic, dramatic here. All right, so the counterpart is single. They're single. But this person already feels tied to you, collective. They already feel chained to you or locked to you or something like that. Maybe they know that you're counterparts. Um, I don't know if they're going to be watching you. If you're going to be watching them. If this is like them coming to ask you a bunch of questions. You're going to feel like they're interrogating you or the opposite way around. Either way, they're, they're in the energy of obsession. I don't know if it's for you or if it's for the other person. So, I don't know what this actually is, but when I first flipped it through, it looked like two apples. I don't know. What I do know is that someone feels an obsession and they are sad. I think This person is supposed to be the chaser, but they're not doing it. And you have Archangel Michael here in the middle. <laughs> Remember I was doing that the reading yesterday? day before whatever and um it was like god was like listen linda you know that's kind of, you got archangel michael here now coming to your twin and it's like listen carl <laughs> whatever their name is i was trying to think of it i don't know but um Yeah, he's like, listen. And it looks like he's got a big stick to poke this bear. He's like, hey, hey, you. Hey, you. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to get so irritated. It's like there's been so many distractions, so many things in the middle of this. Like, I'm just ready to end it. Maybe that's how someone feels. They're just like, this is too much. Too much. So, what I'm going to do... My first deck is screaming at me, so... And pull from here. Okay. I think what next month it turns to the year of the dragon, February. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, guys. Hold on. Okay. So, there's someone here who wants to make this offer. To have this new beginning. Who's like, wanting, not necessarily an offer, like this, um new beginning on something, you know, that maybe they can make lots of money on it, right? Um, and I think that it's going on because, like, someone's stressed out over money. They're like, I need this new opportunity. That's the word. Opportunity. I need to have this new opportunity to make more money. And for others, it's not money. It's, like, this person. Like, they're like, I want to have this new beginning with this person the next cards major arcanas the hermit the will of fortune and the strength reversed okay the strength reverse is the epitome of The woman you gave me. Someone is going to go inside and look at themselves and realize that where they are is because they drove the ship there. <laughs> they floated. They steered. They didn't let go of the... What the hell am I hearing? Jesus, take the wheel. Oh my god, why am I so, so itchy? <laughs> ah. Maybe someone's like, I don't know, maybe having like <laughs> a psychotic break. Like, someone could be detoxing. Someone could be coming down from drugs. Someone needs to come down from drugs. This is not for everybody, okay? This, this is nowhere near from everybody. This is, maybe someone got put in prison because they were messing around with someone that had drugs or whatever, or they're getting drugs in jail because obviously you can do that, or this is just something that's going on in jail, you know, maybe, ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like want to rub my back on like the wall or something, you know, like on the door frame. My dad used to do that when I was little. Like I've it's like a giant bear rubbing up against something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys just want to rub up against something. The tower. <laughs> That's the fourth major arcana. The tower. Ace of Wands. Ace of Spears, sorry. Same thing. 
The Two of Sword. The Ace of Cups. The Sun. All right. Well, I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like a dog. I'm just like, <laughs> a scratch everywhere. Okay, so tower's going to fall. Someone's going to come in. They're going to speak their truth. Say what the hell's been going on, you know. You know, this person, they were in the hermit mode. Why they were in the hermit mode was they had to realize they are accountable. Remember, like I told you, you know, it's during the separation that we have to take accountability because we have to pay consequences for our actions. You know, when a twin goes into separation, it's because there was something that went on that the twin has to be accountable for. They have to, um, that's what I'm trying to look at. They have to be accountable for their actions. They have to have consequences for the things that they do wrong. Otherwise, they're never going to learn. But this is someone who was procrastinating, making the choice. Maybe they're not ready, like mentally or emotionally, um, with the Eight of Cups in reverse here. And the Sun card, this doesn't talk, this deck, it, it's not the same as normal decks, you know, like, in this deck specifically, it means, you know, they're, they had poor judgment, they made the wrong choice, they stayed somewhere for far too long where they weren't supposed to be. That's kind of like in that, the other day where it was, um... You know, sometimes twins stay together too long and they have to learn the lessons together instead of separating and learning the lessons with other people. And then they come back together once they've learned their lesson, whatever. And that doesn't mean to praise the karmic, but in actuality, the karmic that they go to actually kind of saves your ass from having to deal with their shit. Let's just be honest here. The lessons they learn with the karmic, you don't have to teach them or they don't have to teach you. So you get to kind of skip that. My hand is itching. What the heck? I want to end this reading just so I could stop itching because this is not mine. The right hand and my left hand. Okay, but that's good though. If both of my hands are itching, that means you're going to shake hands with a stranger. You're going to meet someone. I don't care if it's your twin that you're meeting. This person not going to have money. Or, say if you're going for a job. Like, you're going to get the job that's going to help you get more money. I don't know. But, it looks in the past. So... <laughs> Okay, I, I, I can't blame you for this one. This is someone, this is someone who has had the tower fall before. So now they're ready. They, they really, 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 they're like itching or tweaking or whatever to want to go towards whatever it is, towards their happiness. But they know that they need to not because in the past they chose wrong. And they're afraid they're going to do it again. So this is just. If your twin goes home. And you're out chasing dogs. You're going to fuck up their mentality. So you need to go home. 
Stop screwing around. Stop chasing dogs. You need to go home. You need to go home. And you need to spend the time in your hermit mode. You need to spend the time. How about this? Stop chasing men. Stop chase, Start chasing God. And wait for God to show you where you're supposed to be. Let your masculine come into you. Okay, stop chasing them. Let them chase you. When you're in your true divine feminine form, you will. Now, does that mean don't tell the divine masculine or whatever that you're interested? No, that does not mean that. That means don't chase them. Now, if by any chance your masculine doesn't even know you exist and you never say hi to them, chances are you're not. They're never going to come in because they're kind of, a lot of times it's the feminine that makes first contact or whatever, or they know first. But after that, first initial whatever where you tell them. Or you say hi. Let them take the lead. Because I think this person's been burned. Especially if they've been in a relationship with you in the past. And they've been burned. They're probably scared shitless. And they're probably not going to tell you that. They're probably going <laughs> to go cry in the shower. You know. Because they're so scared. And I'm not. I'm, not, I'm joking. Okay. Like that. <laughs> The masculine, they probably have went through some stuff. I don't know if they are over it yet. This masculine could be in a relationship they've been in for a long time that's going to end. And they may not know it yet. And you may need to give this masculine some sympathy or empathy or just some time I mean probably stalking you they're probably stalking you anyways while the karmic is off chasing dogs <laughs> they're looking up your social media Karma's a bitch, isn't it? Devil in reverse. Okay. Someone's realizing what they're worth. Big warning. Be careful with what you're spending. This is not to send you into lack mode, okay? You need to do some daily um, motivational or whatever and just know that money comes and goes. But don't just go out and start blowing money. Because there's going to be, like, this offer, say this offer that comes in. Say if you get this job. You may get this job, or you may get this new house, or you may get this new opportunity. But the things that come from it may take a while to come in. Like, you may not get your first paycheck for weeks later than you thought. Um, like, say, say if you do, like, TikTok or whatever. And you make money from TikTok and you expect to make all the money that, you know, is sent to you. But then TikTok takes like 80% of it. You know, it's something like that. Like, you're going to have money come in. But you need to be careful because I don't think it's going to be as much as you are expecting at first. Um, 
or it's like one of those things where it's gonna pay is gonna be delayed. If someone's going through a divorce, so may need to put money up for a divorce or for a lawyer. Um, You're going to be in a hard spot. Until your true person comes back. Until you heal. And your twin is not going to come back until you heal. And they heal. Then you're going to step into the queen of coins energy. Followed by what? Star. So this pain and this suffering and everything you've went through King of Coins. Eventually you're going to step to your counter, your person who you are, you know, paired with. Which is so weird <laughs> in my mind that these are the king and queen of coins. Like, like these two don't match. Okay, so there is a age difference in between you and your masculine. Whoever is in the feminine energy right now, which could be the masculine, is older. It does not have to be. But I'm really feeling that the male energy... The person who was born at birth with a penis instead of a vagina that person <laughs> is standing in the feminine energy even though they are the male I think that they are in the feminine energy right now feminine is probably in her masculine go figure if the feminine is out if, if someone is out like because someone was chasing someone or you know, your person's out screwing around or whatever. The other person is going to step into the masculine energy. So that's probably what it is. We have the Knight of Coins in reverse. All right, masculine. I'm going to tell you right now. You have previously been in the energy of, I'm going to let the female... Come and do all the work. They're never going to come. I think that they are going to maybe come and show up. But they're not going to do all the work. Like if you were selfish in the connection before. Just like in my story. In my dream. The feminine came there. She did all the work to get to you. But if you don't put in. She's going to fucking leave. Because she's not going to be the one anymore to give and give and give and give and give. And then you having not changed and you just expecting her to come in while um, you feel 
Okay, I'm a bit hot irritated. I'm gonna get off of here. Maybe I'll be able to get into another reading and do, I don't know. This is just all over the place. This is just, this is someone who just needs to learn a lesson. Someone needs to get their shit together and do what's right. Do what's right by their partner. You know, drop all the hoes, drop all the dogs, drop all the bullshit. Go home, get all fancied up, like, feel pretty about yourself. <laughs> like, I was about to say, put on some lacy underwear, but then I just imagine the masculine is, the male is the feminine, you know, the one that needs to go home and get all fancied up and, you know, whatever it is that you need to do to feel good about yourself, whether it's, you know... I don't know. Go to the gym. Eat better. Take a really long hot bath because you're fucking itching everywhere. Oh. Um. Yeah, don't taste the jaw. Don't chase the dog because it might make you itch. Is that why I'm itching? Does someone get an STD? Oh, that's just great. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Go home, be good, figure your shit out. Like, do you want to be with your person or not? You got to figure that shit out. Like, you cannot avoid, avoid, avoid. Like, I hear people say that all the time. Minus Mercury retrograde. Yeah, I highly agree with not coming back together with someone during peak of retrograde. After it, whatever. But you're going to have so many problems, so many distractions, so many complications. Like we're still, we're in, we're in the post shadow. Like the post, the pre shadow affects me. The post shadow never really does. Um, but the post shadow is still, you know, you can still have a little bit of backlash from it. Like where you're going to have confusion, where your freaking phone is and electronics are going to be screwing up all the time. You know, you, so you never know. You can send someone a message and they never get it, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Just. I don't know. I'm so irritated right now. Maybe you're just irritated and you just want to spend some time by yourself. Maybe you just need a break. I know, I know, sure as hell do. I'm tired. I'm so tired. But just remember, if you're going after your dreams, right? Be careful what... Blah, blah, blah. Watch your money. Someone may have promised you something that they're not going to keep their word with. And that is you can't really trust a lot of people. Focus your energy. Queen of Wands. And make sure you're not chasing the Queen of Wands. Hold it out and wait for your Ten of Cups. Get through this devil energy that was in reverse. Let go of the toxicity, either drinking or the third party. Let go of the dogs, because if you don't, your four of wands is going to be in reverse. You're going to lose your twin. You're going to lose your marriage. You're going to lose your twin or your marriage. Someone's going to lose both. Someone has been fucking around so bad. They're about to lose their twin and their marriage. That's why someone's afraid. Someone's afraid the twin is going to find out about the marriage. The 
they're going to come into contact with each other and they're going to speak and then it's going to end and yeah yeah fucking of course it would if you play with fire you're going to get burned or reverse don't be naive and do stupid shit okay Because this all has to do with the King of Spears reversed. Someone who is feeling super conceited like they deserve everything and they want to do this and they're better than everyone else. Well, guess what? Satan was also better than all the other angels in God's eyes. And he felt that. I got a little glass of room. <laughs> this is superficial. Whenever you act superficially, like even the devil got kicked his ass out of heaven. I mean, that would suck to be kicked out of heaven. To have to be somewhere and be like healing all the time. Because the emperor was protecting their home. Just like my dog was protecting my home from the coyotes. She was just being annoying about it <laughs> because she just won't leave him alone. What I just heard you better check your check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay? Like if you have a twin or if you have a marriage, if you you need to decide. Choose one and lose one because you're gonna choose one, you're gonna lose one. Oh dear God, that's been the saying for like the past four years. The past four years. Obviously, this is you know, the next cycle. The next section of light workers that are coming into being. You guys are now where I was four years ago. For whoever this is. You're not going to realize how much you love your twin until you're fully awakened. And if that twin is gone, I mean, sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. Don't make your twin the one who you believe is just always going to return because it's not the case. You need to tell this person how you feel for the one who's been fucking around. You tell this person how you feel and what's going on. You need to tell anybody in this scenario what the fuck is going on. And if you have an SCD, you definitely need to tell them what is going on because you yeah that's just that just would not even be right at all tell them how you feel and then leave it to God you know because sometimes you separate because you have to learn a lesson. Sometimes you separate because your twin has to learn a lesson. Both people get hurt. But. It's a spirit saying don't be naive. Don't be stupid. You definitely. The fool reversed, the moon reversed, the world reversed. There's a blockage.
Okay, yeah, I'm a bit off irritated. I'm gonna get off of here. Maybe I'll be able to get into another reading and do, I don't know. This is just all over the place. This is just, this is someone who just needs to learn a lesson. Someone needs to get their shit together and do what's right. Do what's right by their partner. You know, drop all the hoes, drop all the dogs, drop all the bullshit. Go home, get all fancied up, like, feel pretty about yourself. <laughs> I was about to say put on some lacy underwear, but then I just imagine the masculine is the male is the feminine, you know, the one that needs to go home and get all fancied up and you know, whatever it is that you need to do to feel good about yourself, whether it's, you know, I don't know, go to the gym, eat better, take a really long hot bath because you're fucking itching everywhere. Oh, um, yeah, don't chase the jaw. Don't chase the dog because it might make you itch. Is that why I'm itching? Does someone get an STD? Oh, that's just great. Uh, anyways, <laughs> go home. Be good. Figure your shit out. Like, do you want to be with your person or not? You got to figure that shit out. Like you cannot avoid, avoid, avoid. Like I hear people say that all the time. Minus Mercury retrograde. Yeah, I highly agree with not coming back together with someone during peak of retrograde. After it, whatever. But you're going to have so many problems, so many distractions, so many complications. Like we're still, we're in... We're in the post shadow. Like the post, the pre shadow affects me. The post shadow never really does. Um, but the post shadow is still, you know, you can still have a little bit of backlash from it. Like where you're going to have confusion, where your freaking phone is and electronics are going to be screwing up all the time. You know, you, so you never know. Like you can send someone a message and they never get it. You know, I don't know. just oh no I'm so irritated right now maybe you're just irritated and you just want to spend some time by yourself maybe you just need a break I don't know I know I know sure as hell do I'm tired I'm so tired But just remember, if you're going after your dreams, right? Be careful what blah, blah, blah. Watch your money. Someone may have promised you something that they're not going to keep their word with. And that is you can't really trust a lot of people. Focus your energy. Queen of Wands and make sure you're not chasing the Queen of Wands. Hold it out and wait for your Ten of Cups. Get through this devil energy that was in reverse. Let go of the toxicity, either drinking or the third party. Let go of the dogs. Because if you don't, your four of wands is going to be in reverse. You're going to lose your twin. You're going to lose your marriage. You're going to lose your twin or your marriage. Someone's going to lose both. Someone has been fucking around so bad. They're about to lose their twin and their marriage. That's why someone's afraid. Someone's afraid the twin is going to find out about the marriage. The, 
they're going to come into contact with each other and they're going to speak and then it's going to end and yeah yeah fucking of course it would if you play with fire you're going to get burned full reverse don't be naive and do stupid shit okay Because this all has to do with the King of Spears reversed. Someone who is feeling super conceited. Like they deserve everything. And they want to do this. And they're better than everyone else. Well guess what? Satan was also better than all the other angels in God's eyes. And he felt that. I got a little close up room. <laughs> this is superficial. Whenever you act superficially, like even the devil got kicked his ass out of heaven. I mean, that would suck to be kicked out of heaven. have to be somewhere and be like healing all the time because the emperor was protecting their home just like my dog was protecting my home from the coyotes it was she was just being annoying about it <laughs> because she just won't leave him alone What I just heard you better check your check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay? Like if you have a twin or if you have a marriage, if you you need to decide. Choose one and lose one because you're gonna choose one, you're gonna lose one. Oh dear God, that's been the saying for like the past four years. The past four years. Obviously, this is you know, the next cycle. The next section of light workers that are coming into being. You guys are now where I was four years ago, for whoever this is. You're not going to realize how much you love your twin until you're fully awakened. And if that twin is gone, I mean, sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. Don't make your twin the one who you believe is just always going to return because it's not the case. You need to tell this person how you feel for the one who's been fucking around. You need to tell this person how you feel and what's going on. You need to tell anybody in this scenario what the fuck is going on. And if you have an SCD, you definitely need to tell them what is going on because you yeah that's just that just would not even be right at all tell them how you feel and then leave it to god you know because sometimes you separate because you have to learn a lesson. Sometimes you separate because your twin has to learn a lesson. Both people get hurt. But. So Spirit's saying don't be naive. Don't be stupid. You definitely. The fool reversed, the moon reversed, <laughs> the world reversed. There's a blockage.
Something's not fair to someone here. Because they don't feel it. But the blockages, they don't, they're not standing up for their self. People think if I don't stand up for myself, if I just let people do what they want, you know, they won't find me as being annoying and controlling and all this other kind of stuff. But people still have to stand up for their self. This would be kind of like a feminine, a female being like, I want a man who's going to protect me, who is going to be there and who's going to be good for me and, you know, make sure to protect our house. But then when coyotes try to come to, you know, take down your house, the person goes after them and then they're pissed off at that person for doing what they were supposed to be doing. This is stupid. <laughs> this is, just sounds so stupid. I so I'm I'm getting off here. That that the justice is in reverse. Like someone's just I don't even know what to say anymore. I feel like it just keeps saying the same thing. Someone needs to stop being stupid. Someone needs to stand up for themselves. Someone else needs to figure out what the fuck they want. Someone else needs to not mess with someone if they're married. If they're married. You can say hi and bye and all this other kind of stuff, but you don't need to interfere in someone's marriage. Um, everybody else needs to just figure out what the fuck they want. Like, what do you want? It's not that easy. Yeah, it is. It really and truly is. What do you want? Ask for what you want. Ah. I want to stop itching. Ask for what you want and then let God take care of the rest. That's it. All this whole freaking time. That's <laughs> the whole point. Ask for what you want. Don't go through all of this shit. Don't go through all the distractions. Don't go through all of the problems. Don't go through all of the bullshit. Figure out what the fuck you want so you know what you're asking for and then know what you're asking for so that when you get it you're not gonna be like the woman that you gave me <laughs> you can't be like this you know this man drives me crazy and all this other kind of stuff figure out what the fuck you want and then be ready to receive it be ready to receive it because ready or not bitch here it comes